So these are the new cams in the motor. When you're first putting them in, you want to make sure that you coat all the touch points with a little bit of light layer of oil. You can see that how they're sitting in the bike right now, the lines are not correct. And so I'm going to have to move both camshafts uh, one tooth clockwise. There, that looks better. Got all the lines in line. So I'm going to bolt the caps down and then check it with the feeler gauges. Okay, so in tightening these bolts back up, you want to make sure you go inside, 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 and then outside, 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 outside. Reverse of how you undid them. Okay, so we're, we've got everything tight. You can see here in the manual, it's got the valve clearance. And so it's supposed to be 0 0.006 plus or minus 0 0.001. Uh, and so you got to grab your field gauge, that's 0 0.006. And you can see this one's labeled intake, intake. So, you're going to be sticking it in there. I'm not going to try and get that on camera, but you just slide it in, and if it slides in too loose, then you go up a size and see if the 7 will go in, and then go up a size after that and see if the 8 will go in. And if you can't get it in, that means you got to go to a thinner shim.